to our snow ridden park to do one of my videos. This one's just to introduce the complex, the idea of creating simple choices. So here at the moment I've got each one of these represents a choice. Okay, I've got a choice to make in it, and if I assume it's a complex choice, what I'm looking at is all my different options. Option one, option two, option three, option four, option five. Each one I've got to assess the consequences of all of them. No doubt they'll be linked. So if I vary this choice slightly, it'll have an impact on this one, on this one, on this one. And it very quickly becomes so hard, I either don't make the choice and just give up on it, or I find someone else to tell me what to do, or find someone else I can copy. Either way, it's actually quite hard to make a choice. Now, if I simplify the choice using the techniques I've explained in my book, how to simplify the choice, strangely enough. What I end up doing, I'm in a situation to make a choice, yeah, I use the two techniques, the techniques in the book, to create a good reason to go left and a good reason to go right. Okay, both are good reasons, so I can't lose. I take a step forward. I've made this choice. Okay, what I've done now is I've now learned some new stuff about myself and the situation I'm in. So what that does is created another opportunity for me to again create another simple choice of positively a reason to go left and a good reason to go right. I make the choice. Again, I can't lose because I both have positive reasons to go forward. Okay, in this case I go right. Okay, again I've learnt some more about myself because every time I'm going forward I can look back, connect the dots from the past, learn from the past gives me new knowledge about myself, which makes me si able to see the next simple choice for me. Good reason to go left, good reason to go right, and so on. As I sort of organically work my way forward, each time taking a positive step forward. So this is the simplified choice mechanism, as opposed to the complex one, which is this one over here. And uh, obviously I've lived my life based on the simplified choice. So it's always forward looking. I'm always stepping in, having exciting, adventurous times, learning as I go. Okay, so that to me is a simplified choice and it's a skill to learn how to simplify a choice. Hence I've written my, my book. And this one gets you going forward, whereas this one is too easy for me anyway to stand still because you can't work out what variables. Explains why it's a good idea to simplify choices. Thanks a lot. I'll go and get a cup of tea now to warm up. Thanks a lot.